Today we're learning how to make this minimal timeline in PowerPoint, including the transitions and also the pictures that go from one slide to the other. If you want to follow along, these are the color codes that we use, so you can pause the video if you need. Let's start from blank slide and add the word minimal. Increase the font size, change the font to Montserrat, bold, and align to center, align to middle. Copy it, reduce the font size, make it smaller and write timeline. I'm going to go for all uppercase and a lighter gray color. That looks good. Create a new slide, remove everything that's on there, and we're going to add a shape and a circle. Hold shift and drag to make a perfect circle and fill it with a light darker gray. Copy it four times on the slide. Select them all, distribute horizontally to space them evenly, and align to center to put it in the middle. Ungroup again. And then we're going to add a line, so select a line, and drag it from the left circle all the way to the edge of the slide on the right. Give it the same color, so the darker gray color, and the weight will put it around one and a half points. Center line to the back. And now we're going to add the icons. So insert icons. And here we're going to look for different icons. You can choose your own icons, that doesn't really matter. So we select a few, make them all graphics fill white, and then spread them over the circles that we've created. So the little mile milestones. Once you're happy, add a shape and a line, drag a vertical line, make it lighter gray, and weight about one or just one less. Match it to the top of the circle, and then add a text, and some dummy text. We're going for font Montserrat and all uppercase letters. Duplicate it on top make it bold and add one of the dates so in this time we start from 2017 you can fill in whatever you want add a text box below with some dummy text or room from ex for extra text and then once you're happy select all the text position them correctly select the line make sure it matches the top of the text that looks good select all four objects and paste them on the last circle Play around with the width of the text box so it doesn't touch the edge. And then copy it to the bottom. Drag the line to the top. And here we make like a mirrored version. Select them once more and position them all the way to the left, to the first milestone. And then change the dates, 2016, 17, 18, 19. Now we're going to duplicate the slide. So right click, duplicate slide. And we're going to drag the line from behind all the way to the left so it connects to the left side of the slide. Change the dates so they continue to 2022 and 2023. We're going to transition and push and then push from the right and this way we connect the slides nicely. Increase the duration to about two seconds that will make it easier on the eye. We're adding a background picture, a color splash in black and white for the minimal theme, and drag it, send it to back, and drag it to the bottom of the slide. Position it the way you want. We can stretch it, it doesn't really matter with this picture. I'm going to make it across the border of the slide, crop it, and then meet the edges. And that way it remains clean to work with. Copy another one. Turn it around 180 degrees and position it on the top right of the slide. Crop the edges from the top so they match the top of the slide. And this picture we're going to increase a little bit, send it to the back. And once we're happy with the positioning, we're going to copy this to the second slide. Grab the picture where the at the border of the slide and drag it to the left and drop it once your cursor meets the edge of the left side. And this way, if we do the push transition, the pictures will flow in nicely together and they'll feel like it's one picture. 
copy the same picture from the first slide at the bottom, remove the crop lines and position it to the right. So we're going to make a transition from the second to the third slide at the bottom. Happy with the positioning, crop it a little bit to make it easier to work with and copy it to the last slide. Same thing, grab it at the anchor point of the slide and drag it to the left until it meets your cursor meets the edge of the slide. Grab the top one from the first slide and drop it on the last slide on top, because that's going to be our transition to the last slide. Copy the minimal and timeline, paste it on the last slide. And let's create a different outro, so be creative. And now we need to connect the picture from to the last slide. So go to the third slide, copy the one that crosses over, grab it and drag it to the opposite side. So it's always the same thing, top or down, doesn't really matter. Let's make sure everything looks good and maybe a last one at the bottom, rotate it, flip it. That doesn't matter, that's not going to be connected anyway. So we can position that on the last slide as we like. That looks pretty good already. Transitions, make sure you add a push transition to the last slide as well. Push it from the right, then it's nicely connected. And do the same on the other slides. So make sure all the slides have a push transition from the right. You can do this in any direction, but for this tutorial, we're doing the push from the right. Then I like to crop the images so the images don't overflow too much. That's always easier to work with and to copy for future presentations. Let's add a title. So, founded in 2016, increase the font, uppercase letters and make it slightly lighter. Copy it to the second slide and add your own titles that you want to give. Now let's preview. And this way you can make an easy and a very nice looking minimal timeline in PowerPoint and you can really grab the attention of the audience. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.